Hi, this is Dr. John Bergdorf. In this video, we're going to look at two examples that at first glance look like they're incredibly elaborate, but once we remember some things we've already learned about vertical and horizontal lines, we're going to find out that they are no big deal at all. So, example one, write the equation of a line that is parallel to the y-axis, but passing through the point 3, 5. And example two, write the equation of a line that is perpendicular to the line x equal 5 and passing through the point negative 2, negative 5. Again, those sound pretty elaborate. But in a previous video, we learned a couple of important facts. First of all, graphs of equations in x only are vertical lines. And second, graphs of equations in y only are horizontal lines. So you may remember, for example, if you're graphing a line like x equal 2, or asked to graph a line like x equal 2, and you make a table of values for it, what the equation says is that the x must be 2. But the y is not mentioned anywhere in the equation, which means you can pick any number you feel like, maybe 0. And actually, as long as your x is always 2, you can pick anything you want for y. And if you quickly draw what that looks like, oh, how that's terrible. Let me try to make that look slightly straight. Slightly better. I'm gonna plot a few points right here. On my xy plane, the point two zero is right here. The point two negative one is right there. The point 2, 3 is there, and I could have chosen 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, negative 2, 2, negative 3. And you get the point that the graph of the equation x equal 2 is going to turn out to be a vertical line. And similarly, uh, an equation in y only would end up being a horizontal line. Now, keeping those mi ideas in mind, you'll see that these are actually really simple examples. Write the equation of a line that is parallel to the y-axis. So, the y-axis is vertical. So actually, if we want a line parallel to the y-axis, all we're asking for is a vertical line that passes through the point 3, 5. Now, because it's a vertical line, the equation has to look like x equals something has to be x only. x equal what? Well, this particular point has to work, so for that to work, the x would have to equal 3 so that we would actually get that point. That's it. That's the equation of a line parallel to the y-axis, but passing through the point 3, 5. The next one is not is very much the same. Write the equation of a line that is perpendicular to the line x equal 5. So let's think about x equal 5. Much like we saw just now, that's going to be a vertical line. If we want a line that's perpendicular to a vertical line, it's going to be a horizontal line. So we're actually looking for a, hor a horizontal line. And we know that horizontal lines have equations of the form y equals something, y only. And again, this particular point over here has to work, so y equal what? Well, y would have to equal negative 5. And that's all there is to it. 